Hey guys, appreciate you tuning in my YouTube channel. This week's theme has been the same, but different. And so I've talked about using formations to be in the same formation, but attack in different areas. Yesterday, I talked about series-based offense, how to line up and, uh, and run buck, and then the series off of that, or how to build your offense off of the same action, but attack in different places. Today, we're going to talk about RPOs. Tomorrow, I'll have... Uh, Coach Vaughn with Blitzology on with me on uh, on a Zoom call. If you have not already reserved your spot, I think we've got a few spots left. You can go to fbcoachsimpson.com in the materials section and reserve your spot to hear that we're going to be a lot more in depth. Uh, he'll talk defensively about how you look the same but attack in different areas, and I'll be doing the offensive side. Similar stuff to what I'm doing now, but I'll be going a little more in depth answering questions people may have as well. Um, and it's going to be really, really fun. I'm excited to have a defensive guy on with me. I don't normally get to do that, so I'm excited to have him on. But if you haven't done so, go ahead and reserve your spot. Then at the end of the week, my last YouTube uh, for this week, I'll be doing play action. So talking about how we're going to attack in the play action game, uh, which uh, to me, you're starting to see teams, and even I have gone more to play action than the RPO game, depending on... Uh, my quarterback, the ability level he has. Uh, you know, my mind is if you've got a quarterback that can handle more, more RPOs. If you've got a quarterback that is better with his feet, he's out on the edges, uh, then the, the play action game is probably more in line with what you want to do. But I'm going to talk about where we come up with our RPOs and everything I've got, I've stole from somebody. And so understand all we've done is package them nice and neat together. You know, everything in football has been out there. It's just how you put it together uh, that makes you unique or different. So RPOs for us, RPOs for us are answers to problems. So if we're trying to answer potential problems uh, and protect our run game. You know, if I want to throw the ball, uh, you know, then we're probably just going to call a pass play or a play action. If I call an RPO, we are truly wanting to read it. There are different ways you can look at RPOs. Some guys call an RPO and they're calling it to throw it. Well, if I want to do that, I'm going to call play action. There's not going to be fake it and you're throwing the ball. If we're going to run an RPO, I want to run it to truly read it and we're running it to protect our run game. So all of these have come from problems we've faced. It's not like we just came up with all of them in one year. We had one here, one there, and then the next year, this guy's a problem, how do we handle that? This guy's a problem, how do we handle that? So I would encourage you, as a coach, be unique and different. Maybe you got something else you want to run, how you want to read a guy. All this is is thinking through potential problems of your run game. So chart your runs. Who's making the tackles? How are you going to have an answer for that? And that's where this came from. So first thing we want to have an answer for is this guy out here. That's the easiest one. It's the truest form of it. It's not even really an RPO. It's almost an either or. You know, we're going to run some type of screen, quick game, whatever, if we get numbers of the right look over here to our twins. Maybe we have the right look, maybe we have man zero, maybe we have uh, whatever, they're blitzing, whatever. We have certain looks that we like that we're gonna make sure this guy is not going to be able to get involved in the run game. Okay, so that can be quick pass game, that can be screens, that can be uh, whatever you wanna make it be. But have an answer so that they can't just load the box up and get that numbers advantage, right? Oldest RPO in the book is that zone read. You know, Rich Rod made it famous about back in West Virginia with all his zone stuff. Well, now we're gonna pair that with our runs and you can pair it with your runs. We're basically going to read this five technique. We're gonna tell our tackle with a keyword, don't block that guy, go block inside gap to linebacker. And the quarterback is going to be responsible for this guy, okay? That's an easy one. Then we started getting to this. We do a lot of pin pull. So a lot of teams are running power, our version of belly, buck, any pin pull where he's coming here, an answer for a defense, slam down that B gap, maybe get all the way into A gap and be a problem or load up two guys here so that we can't pull. So we had to come up with an answer. So our answer uh, was basically we're gonna block out with a call last year, a couple of years, we used the word steal. It'd be probably a different word this year. Whatever that word is, tells this guy to block out, 
and our quarterback is responsible for now the B gap defensive line player. First level B gap player, that's on the quarterback. We can run this same concept with head up four, we can run with five if we want to. You know, we're just basically telling the quarterback, whoever's responsible for B gap on the defensive line, you got him. So we can run that. Then we started having problems with our inside linebackers. A lot of teams are doing this. You'll see a lot of them will run that little spot slant concept. We run it too. Okay. We started also reading it with the run game. So we started reading our quarterback could read it and pull it and run out the back door. And it's just different ways of coming up with answers. But if you're looking at RPOs, I can give you plenty of information if you go to my website on what we do. That's kind of specific to us. Um, and, and feel free to reach out if you've got questions about it. I think RPOs scare a lot of people, but when you think about it this way, RPOs are built-in answers to problems in your run game. They don't scare you as much because you can make them as exotic as you want. By the way, these are all backside run RPOs. You want to get real fancy, you can start putting in the play side run RPOs, or you can start putting in the different level RPOs. So. We usually would start, if you're a guy who's kind of just dipping your toe in the RPO world, we're usually going to start with the either-ors. Screen, you know, quick game with a run attached. Easy enough. Divorce concepts, no real read, is read pre-snap. Then we're going to go to first-level defensive linemen, probably starting on the backside and maybe working to the play side if you're a power read kind of guy. That's an RPO, that's an RRO, but you're reading a guy. You're letting your quarterback read this guy, okay? So that's the next level. Then the second level, where we're going to read a linebacker or roll down safety. You're kind of getting more expensive as you go. So the farther this way and that way, as far as second, third level guys you read, those are huge explosive plays they're also a lot more difficult and require a lot more time to be put into them. And also it takes kind of a special kid back there at quarterback to be able to read those. So I'd recommend if you're just kind of want to dip your toe into it, start here, start small. If you want to make your whole offense be formed off the RPO game and go crazy, but make sure that your runs are all the same. The only thing different is the guy you're reading. And that's where the RPO world comes in. And that's how it applies to our theme this week. The same, but different. One guy runs something different to a defense. Now I can attack specific people. That's the goal of the RPO world. Hopefully you got something out of this, guys. Don't forget tomorrow night, I will have Coach Vaughn with Blitzology on. And you need to reserve your spot for that. Um, and we'll pay him for coming on and spending his time. So I'll make sure that... You know, I, I got to charge a little money for that. So it's on my Zoom, uh, but you can reserve your spot at vcoachsimpson.com. Just go to the materials, reserve your spot. If you can't make it live, we're going to record it and send the recordings out as well. I'll probably have that available on my site and on CoachTube also for those guys that are interested in, in buying it later if that's something you want to do. Excited to have him on. If you haven't already done so, appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Come back on on Thursday, and I'm going to handle... Play actions. You know, what are we going to do about play actions? You know, if you don't want to get in the RPO world, how can you balance that with play actions? Appreciate your time.